Dear students, under the topic Non-Linear Partial Differential Equations, we are solving problems under type 4. Now here we have the method of solving type 4. So the equation of the form z equal to px plus qy plus f of p comma q that is a function of p comma q is known as Clairet's form. So whenever you find equation of this type, then we have to find the complete integral by putting p equal to a and q equal to b in the given equation. After finding the complete integral, we have to find the singular integral by eliminating the arbitrary constants a and b from the complete integral, which we have already seen. How to eliminate the arbitrary constants? We have to differentiate the complete integral with respect to a and b and equate them to 0 and solve those three equations that is dou z by dou a equal to 0, dou z by dou b equal to 0 and the complete integral. Combining the three, we will find the singular integral. And the general integral is found in the same way how we have done previously. That is, we have to take the second constant b to be equal to a function of a and substitute it in the complete integral. And after substituting, we have to differentiate it with respect to a and equate it to 0. And eliminating a between those equations, we find the general integral. So this is the method of solving the equations of the Clairet's form. We shall now begin with a problem. Now here we have the first problem under type 4. We can see that z is equal to px plus qy plus pq which is of the Clairet's form. So we have written that. Now after this let us mark the given equation as equation 1. Now first we have to find the complete integral for which we have to put p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation 1. So to find the complete integral, put p is equal to a and q is equal to b in equation 1. So we get z to be equal to, so in equation 1, if we put p as a, we get ax plus q as b. So, b, y plus p and q here we have. So, it will be a, b. So, this gives us the complete integral. So, let us mark this as equation 2. So, this gives us the complete integral. Now, after finding the complete integral, we have to find the singular integral. So, how to find the singular integral? We have to eliminate the arbitrary constants from equation 2 in order to find the singular integral. Now, what are the arbitrary constants in equation 2? A and B are the arbitrary constants in equation 2. We have to eliminate them in order to find the singular integral. For which, first we have to find dou z by dou a. That is, we have to partially differentiate equation 2 with respect to a. So, when we do so, what do we get? Dou z by dou a will be equal to, now we are differentiating with respect to a. So, remaining all will be treated as constant. So, now if you see, we have a over here. The differentiation of a is 1. So, we will have the remaining, that is, we will have x over here. And by is a constant which will become 0. And now here, a, b, b will be treated as constant, but a we are differentiating with respect to a. And so, the differentiation of a will be 1. So, plus 1 multiplied with b, which is b. So, dou z by dou a is equal to x plus b. Next, what we have to do is, we have to find dou z by dou b. So, dou z divided by, I mean, dou z by dou b is equal to, we have to differentiate equation 2 partially with respect to b. So, dou z by dou b will be equal to, this will be treated as constant, so it will become 0. Now, here, b, we are differentiating with respect to b. So, differentiation of b is 1. 1 multiplied with y will be y itself. Plus, here we have a, b. Now, a will be treated as constant. And differentiation of b is 1. So, a into 1 will be a. So, next, after this, in order to find, uh, I mean, in order to eliminate a and b, we have to put dou z by dou a and dou z by dou b both as 0. So, put dou z by dou a to be equal to 0. So, what is dou z by dou a? It is x plus b. 
So x plus b is equal to 0 from which we have to find the value of b only. So the value of b will be equal to negative x. So we have obtained the value of b. In a similar manner here we have to put dou z by dou b to be equal to 0. So when we put that, that is y plus a will be equal to 0. So we have to find the value of a. So a will be equal to negative y. Why are we finding a and b? Because we want to eliminate them. So now we have got b in terms of x and a in terms of y. Now we shall substitute a and b in equation 2. That is in this complete integral. So what will happen? z will be equal to so z will be equal to a x now what is a a is negative y so we will have negative y multiplied with x and then plus b y b is what b i mean uh, b is negative x so we will have plus negative x multiplied with y plus we have a b over here so we have to multiply a and b a is negative y and b is negative x so on simplification z will be equal to negative xy and here also negative xy plus uh, here minus into minus will become plus and so xy and if you see uh, a negative xy and positive xy gets cancelled and we obtain z to be equal to uh, this negative xy is remaining so negative xy so this is the required singular integral so therefore z equal to negative xy is the singular integral for the given problem so i hope you would have understood how to solve the problems when it is in the form of uh, clearance form when it is in the clearance form this is the method of solving. So kindly follow the next video lecture for problem 2 under this topic. Thank you.